All right, here we are. Episode 3. The Last 12. I am Bucka from the Rusty Bucket Show. And we have the last 12 packs. From this... Sword and Shield Fusion Strike Booster Pack. We have some pretty decent hits. I mean, by far. The old mud kip is taking the cake so far. But you know what? I think we can do better than that. And I think that these, these are gonna do it. What do you think? You think these are gonna take the cake? You think we can find something better than a mud kip in here? My knife says no. My knife says no. But we're gonna try. Let's start with the middle boy. It's got a Mew on it. And we want that top tier Mew. So let's go for it. We're looking for that top tier Mew. Ugh. Definitely got the top tier glue. Oh, look at me, screwing up already. Sometimes my muscle memory fails me. But that's okay. It happens to the best of us. All right. Volibi. Dewbiter. Meowth. Onyx. Toodle. Zerud. Oh, Deoxys. I screwed the pooch, didn't I? Yes, I did. Those were our hits. Ugh. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I knew something was wrong. I knew something was wrong. I do like that one, though. Bulk it, baby. Bulk it, baby. Can't sleeve it, leave it. Geo dude. Geo dude used to be exciting. Now he's just a dude from a Geo. Cramomatic, Skaters Park, Sizzlypede, <clears throat> Kalifki, Pan Sausage, Wooloo, Absol. I'm not familiar with fall picks, but you know what? Somebody might appreciate them. It might not be me, but somebody might appreciate them. Manky. It's awful close to Spanky. Manky. Um, oh man, I'm so out of it. I don't think you guys realize how long I've been sitting here cracking packs. Metapod. Back to the Mankey. I gotta do something here. 
we've got to turn this. We're going to turn that a little bit. And then we're going to bring this back this way. Because I'm having issues with my wrists touching things that shouldn't be touching. Oh, we got a hit. Let's just go for it. Ooh, a Gengar VMAX, baby. A Gengar VMAX, baby. All right, I'm going to have to do it. Without the old moose here, Gengar V Max. Is this a top tier? I doubt it. Oh my. Ugh. Well, one of them is, but not this one. Which one is this? That's still 1440. That's still 1440. We could probably get $15 out of him. But there is a top tier Gengar. But that's not him. Unfortunately. I am pretty happy with the way this booster box turned out. I wonder how much a booster box of Evolving Skies goes for right now. I'm almost afraid to look. I'm terrified, honestly. That's not the right spot. See, I love these packs, but... Criminy, Jiminy Crimis, they can be a pain to get together sometimes. In Garvey Max. Not the right one, but one. It's all right, we got more to go. There very well could still be a top tier in here somewhere. And we're going to find it. And if we don't, I'm going to pull some extra packs right out of my butt until we do. I got a magic butt like that. I can just pull boosters out of it anytime I want. Only packs, though. No cardboard packs, just plain old packs. No boosters. Boosters can't cut it. But you know what? That is some pretty slick art. I like that. I'm sleeving it. I like it. That's going in my... That's going in my favorites binder. We'll put that over here in a safe spot. And you, you, you're going to the children. To the hounds. You know what? This guy looks lonely. Let's pull him out. He looks lonely. He looks like he has something to say and he wants some attention. So, we're going to give it to him. We're going to give him that attention that he's, he's starving for.
Coxall. What do you think is going on in this picture? Did he accidentally tear his plushie? Good old Mina. That made it past quality control. Can you believe it? That made it past quality control. I feel like I need to work for Nintendo Pokemon Division. I can make stuff like that on Microsoft Paint. And I could be a millionaire too. There's that bug again. At least it's shiny this time. And it definitely meets my criteria. It meets my criteria. As a cool rare. So it is going in the rare book. The hollow rare book. Drillbur. I feel like I saw something in there. Did you? Should we slow roll this one? Should we slow roll it? Fire. Schoolgirl. The click. Top a jaw. Drillbur putting in his work. Shanks. Just some bear being cute. Doing what they do best. And I feel like I've been bamboozled. Lapras. Yep, bamboozled. Bamboozled. Too bad, so sad. I thought for sure I would feel that second box of bulk. What is this? Oh yeah, that's my mud kit. He's gotta go over there to my coolness. Keep forgetting about my mud kip. Me and that mud kip, we are gonna take over the Pokemon world. All right, Shauna. Where do you belong, Shauna? Shauna. You're a 750. And you're a cutie pie. Can't front. Oh, God. I love the textures of these. What else was there? Can't see in the camera. Squat. Squat, squat, squat. You guys might want that. Sorry, I almost forgot that.
could have swore I had two packages of these. Oh, I had it backwards the whole time. I had it backwards the whole time. No wonder it wouldn't fit. No wonder it wouldn't fit. I know somebody that will trade me something very, very, very nice for this. I screwed that one up. We gotta do this very carefully. Very carefully. I really screwed this one up. Oh. Here we go. Let's slow down right here. I cannot rave about these sleeves enough. I am going to personally contact this company and see if we can get exclusive. If we use their sleeves exclusively on our channel, If they will supply us. We don't need a lot. I mean, a hundred a day should do the trick. Probably on, well, yeah. Actually, that sounds about right. A hundred a day. Good old Shauna. Yep. I'll get a good, good trade out of her. Austin's a sucker for those trainers. Surely that's not our last hit. That cannot be our last hit. I'll be so sad if that's our last hit. I just want one top tier. Come on, one top tier. One top tier, please. Oh, I gotta resituate. A back is breaking. It's a rude Ducati. Wow, that guy is so stinking wicked and deserves a full art. Indeedy. See, like, uh oh, spaghettios. Is this guy. Does this guy meet criteria? Yes, he does. This guy meets criteria, too. Okay, but first comes first. This guy, I know nothing about. I am going to... He's definitely not top tier. He's probably going to be down there somewhere. He kind of looks like an egg woman. might just be an egg, but it kind of looks like a woman. Looks like it has a bra on. But it has to be worth something. There it is. Is that it? Yep. $2.50. $2.50. Single sleeve it is. Wow, these are really hit and miss. Okay, I'm starting to think that maybe these packs, these sleeves may need to be discontinued. The texture on these are amazing. Yep, see, look at that. Yep, done, gone, nope, trash. Never using another one. Okay. Stand by. 
What do we got here? Those are bulk. Um, I think we can. We can never go fail. I mean, never go fail. We never go wrong with the Pikachus. I'm starting to think I may have to go back and replace all of the others that I put inside of those. Wow, those were complete garbage sleeves. And you meet the criteria too, Steelix. Can you believe it? I'm proud of you. Yep. I'm going to have to go back through everything I sleeved today. And re-sleeve them all. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I just got to be cautious. I like to take care of my cards. It's important. Last thing I want to do is go digging for a card six months from now and find out that it slid out of the bottom and now it's all mushroomed out. That would be terrible. That would be like the worst case scenario and I feel like it's something that could legit happen energy a penny yep snorkel Well, well, well. We're bulking those. He didn't quite cut it. But this one did. Congratulations, buddy. Congratulations. Okay, last three. It's been a long day. It is two in the morning. I started this venture at six this morning. Can you believe that? You may not believe it, but I do. I had bathroom breaks. I had lunch breaks. I had run to the store breaks. I had to go to the game store a couple times. I had to do a few different things. But. My whole job today was to open these cards. And it officially has ran into day two. Prime eight. Mm-hmm. Pan Sage. Lulu. Yep. And Squat. He's a rare boy. But. I don't want him. Any of them. They're going straight to bulk. All of them. All right, let's see something big. Let's go out with a bang. Let's go out with a nuclear bomb.
a nuclear blizzy. Mandibuzz, Nine Tails, Farewell Bell, Jinx, one of my favorites, always a Jinx. And that's a, uh, yeah, you, 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 you just like kind of slipped right under my radar, didn't you? But you didn't. We'll go ahead and stick you there. You might get lucky later on. You might get lucky later on. No promises. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's marathon. It's been a long one. I'm tired. I'm ready to take a nap. Get a good night's sleep. I got a long day ahead of me. I need to mow my yard too. Lawn mower should be home from the shop. Freak Game Inc., baby. Pins here. Let's slow roll this bad boy. Thanks for tuning in. This is Bucka from the Rusty Bucket Saloon. And we're going out with another chandelier. I'm happy about that. I like chandeliers. Wow. Did we get a double hit? No. You know what? I'm tired. I am so stinking tired. But you don't care. All right, let's look at our spoils. Yeah, I know we're 28 minutes, but let's go ahead and Get it over 30. Surely somebody will watch this. Maybe I won't do 12 at a time anymore. Maybe this will be a one-time thing. All right. Our spoils of war. This is what we got. All hits from this one booster box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not bad. That's not even counting these hollows and reverse rares that we got over here. Not all of these are, but... A good amount of them. But this card is just flat out beautiful. I love it. The texture is great. The colors are great. It's not worth a bunch of money. But it's a good card. This is a good card too. Just because Gengar is awesome. He's not worth a bunch. But man oh man look at that card. Another Sandalier. It looks awesome. But can you believe that this is the cheaper one of the bunch? This chandelier is worth more than this chandelier. Let's let's actually, you know what? Since we're already 
cracked the half hour anyway. Let's go ahead and see what this other chandelier is worth. Where are you, chandelier? That's not you either. Wow, I could be wrong. I thought this was the other chandelier. I was totally wrong. This may be the lowest paying chandelier of the bunch after all. Wow. Wow. I gotta know. I'm already looking. I'm here. We're in the zone now. This one right here. It's 250. So that means the Eggman, this Eggman right here, he was worth 250. And wow, that chandelier is just nowhere to be. Oh, this. Where'd he go? Where'd the other guy go? I know he's in here. Here we are. I found him. He's two dollars. What else we got here? Wow. Yep, that chandelier is just like nowhere even near the top of the list. We're like talking a dollar here. Wow. We got shiny rares that are more impressive than this chandelier. There it is. Dollar sixty-five. I already lost it. Dollar sixty-five. That's not a bad haul. I mean, come on. Not bad. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Bucca, Rusty Bucca Saloon. Ending episode three. I don't know if I'm going to do long form like this again. If you liked it, let me know. Leave a comment. If you think we should shorten it back up to eight or nine packs per video, that way you know it's short and sweet. That's cool too. But, you know, I like cracking as many packs as possible. And finding all the good stuff. If it was my choice, we would have cracked this all in one video. And then we'd be have all of these to play with at the end. Alright, I'm out. Click like, subscribe, ring the bell, tell your friends. Whoop.